before we move on to USC's perspective on this um, four-team playoff that's with us until at least uh, through 2025, uh, the eight-game proposal that was reviewed in the Big Ten, and as you stated, the Big Ten has opted to stay with nine games, and the Pac-12, of course, still has a nine-game conference schedule. Could this be as simple as the Big Ten, once they throw their games at ESPN and the various ESPN networks, ABC and Fox, they've got contracts, major contracts with all of them. The Big Ten network is showing the worst game in the Big Ten every week. Okay, that that's still a fairly valuable game, depending on your perspective. I mean, not on a national scale, but on a regional scale. Um, could it be that the Big Ten is looking at its games for its own network, possibly, again, not selling these games as big national games, but an Indiana-Illinois game or a Maryland-Minnesota game being more valuable within the region than Minnesota picking up an extra non-conference game against Washington State or Arizona or somebody that doesn't have any local appeal for the Big Ten Network. I think that's probably true. I mean, we obviously remember that you know, the Big Ten didn't add Rutgers and Maryland to enhance its football brand like that. That that wasn't the point. It was to get subscriptions it was to get televisions and, and cable subscriptions and fees in New Jersey, in Baltimore, in more eastern markets. Like that was the whole point. It wasn't to have higher quality football. So, I mean, like that flows pretty neatly with and from the analysis that you just laid out. So I, I, yeah, it does seem as though it's a television focused move. I would note that as college football now, you know, is, is well stuck, it is stuck, but it chose to be stuck since it's stuck with the four team playoff for four more years. And since of course the conferences are s seemingly waiting to do media rights negotiations first and then deal with what the sport looks like in 2026, uh, since that's the way they're approaching. I don't agree with it, but that's the way they are approaching it right now. Um, you know, give us this delay. It's it's a chance for the sport to reconsider how it organizes the regular season. And, and that point, you know, forget about the postseason, but just flex scheduling one game, you know, in, in November of every season. Like, I, I'm going to keep banging that drum because flex scheduling like that gives all the conferences and it gives all the television partners a way to create the best possible inventory for all of them uh, in, in a way which, you know, isn't so much confined to one conference. There's, it's not like a narrow tie in. It's a more expansive system, which you know can really open the gates uh, for everyone to benefit from college football.